What I do have is the privilege of introducing another customer speaker guest who I think you'll find some of his message resonate with the themes we've mentioned here so far today. He's my friend from TDA, uh, Vijay Sankaran. And just a quick story, he was one of those early believers when it was way, way before microservices, continuous delivery, the uh, regeneration of uh, Java into Spring Boot really were obvious trends. And Vijay bet early with us and has really helped transform TDA into one of the leading technology companies in financial services. So listen to his message around microservices. I think you're going to find it's great. Just welcome to the stage, Vijay. Good morning, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here at Spring One to represent our story at TD Ameritrade to be the premier digital investing experience out there. And software is absolutely at the heart of everything that we do. So this has been an absolutely critical transformation for us. I remember meeting James at the Fire and Oak Bar in Jersey City back in 2014, where I think we were all in much different places in our lives at that time and talking about the future of platforms, microservices, innovation, and those have all become part of the core of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So just to give you a little bit of a snapshot of TD Ameritrade, we were founded in 1971 by the Ricketts family. Uh, for those of you who are Cub fans, it's the same Ricketts family. Uh, we've got about 9,000 employees distributed across the United States. Uh, we've done a number of key acquisitions. Uh, we merged with uh, TD Waterhouse back in 2004. Uh, we uh, acquired Thinkorswim, which is an advanced trading platform back in 2009, and most recently, Scott Trade in 2017. Uh, we have, like I said, our goal is to really be the premier digital experience for investing out there. Uh, and I think we're well on our way to delivering on that promise. Uh, financially, we're about uh, a five and a half billion dollar company uh, in fiscal year 18. And we are fairly profitable as well. Uh, so we've really enjoyed uh, the, the growth in the investing space really to drive self-directed investors as well as uh, technology to support our registered investment advisors uh, to support their clients as well. Just to give you a little bit of a snapshot, uh, I know most of you are software engineers here. Uh, I have the fortune of being the head of technology of an almost all Java shop. Uh, we do have a little bit of .NET, but it certainly makes things uh, a lot easier in terms of the Pivotal platform adoption. Uh, we utilize a lot of JavaScript. Uh, we utilize a lot of Java. Um, we've got uh, a number of other uh, peripheral middleware type technologies like Kafka that we're looking at, uh, Rabbit, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, we are very much uh, an Atlassian shop in terms of uh, the whole ecosystem of software engineering. Uh, we just brought on Swagger Hub to help with our API development and manage uh, all of our enterprise services in a single repository. Uh, we have the Pivotal platform, obviously, and um, we've built our own pipeline uh, using the Zebia Labs product, but we're certainly investigating uh, a lot of the new capabilities like Spinnaker that are coming as part of the overall Pivotal platform. Uh, one of the, mo the things that I'm most proud of as uh, head of technology and CIO is the Agile transformation uh, that we undertook. Uh, I had done a previous Agile transformation when I was the uh, head of application development at Ford Motor Company. And when I came to TD Ameritrade and took on the CIO role, uh, we, I felt that Agile was really important in transforming us from being a traditional financial services company to being a financial innovator, a digital financial innovator. Uh, and it has proved that uh, to be the real ingredient as part of that transformation. So when I first started this journey, uh, we were about 5% Agile back in 2016. Uh, and this year, we surpassed 80% with almost 85% of our 1,000 uh, uh, software engineer workforce uh, adopting Agile practices and on Agile teams. Uh, that's more than tripled our throughput in terms of value that we're delivering to our business partners. Uh, so it's been a pretty tremendous journey in terms of our transformation. So now what I wanted to share with you a little bit uh, is the pivotal story uh, at TD Ameritrade. Uh, it started uh, 
all the way back in 2014 with that beer with uh, James. Uh, but, you know, it evolved uh, over the 2017 to 2019 period when I really took over as the CIO. Uh, so in 2017, you know, we had a little app, a little web mobile app that was uh, outdated uh, and it wasn't responsive. And I called this the seed in our transformation journey on our digital side. And so we decided to take a chance uh, with Pivotal, uh, used Pivotal Labs and set up an Agile team over there in, in New York City. Uh, and they just absolutely loved the experience, refactored what we called was our dot mobi app, our web mobile app. Uh, and we launched a brand new app called TDAX. Uh, and TDAX is now the centerpiece for our entire digital experience on the retail side as we go forward. Uh, and our product owners loved it, and our software engineers loved it, and it was really a catalyst, I think, for all parts of our transformation. So that news sp spread like wildfire, and in 2017, uh, the next macro process in our business is account opening and funding. And so that team said, hey, we don't have a, an application where you can really do A-B testing, uh, get the right data and analytics. We want in on that Pivotal journey, too. And so we sent a team off to Pivotal Labs again, uh, and they came back with a modern account opening process that we call uh, the new client experience. And we're fully rolling that out uh, this year uh, across all of our clients. Allows us to do more A-B testing, uh, really simplify the account opening process, which is at the lifeblood of everything that we do. So if that wasn't enough, our institutional business said, hey, we have an outdated application uh, for our clients. These are the clients of our uh, independent advisors, and we want a, a new experience called advisor client. So again, we partnered with Pivotal Labs, sent a team out there. They learned the modern software engineering practices, pair programming, and in, in just a short six-month time frame, came to market with a brand new MVP. And we are finishing out the features of that as we speak. And we're going to be rolling that out to all of the clients of all of the advisors uh, later this year. And then finally, our trader group said that we haven't built a web-based advanced trading app uh, in a long time. We have a new client base coming in Asia that is not going to want to use a desktop al application, which does happen to be the preeminent trading platform for advanced traders. So what we did is we took the, the Thinkorswim platform, which is our preeminent trading platform, uh, abstracted it through microservices, and built uh, a web-based interface uh, that's responsive that we're going to be rolling out to all of our Asia-Pacific customers uh, starting later this year. But that was built with the partnership with Pivotal Labs in Chicago. Uh, and that was, that was a really great technical experiment in terms of engineering, because this is a very advanced app, requires real-time streaming of data, a lot of visualization uh, on the UI layer, and it does really demonstrate the power of the platform. So as Trader X rolls out later this year, I encourage you all to take a look at it uh, as we go forward. And then finally, this year, we decided to open up uh, the entire ecosystem of development. Uh, we've had 300 apps uh, refactor and adopt the Pivotal platform in year one uh, of opening the store for uh, Pivotal to the entire uh, business ecosystem. A lot of positive feedback. We've seen improvements in cycle time you know, at the rate of 50%. So it's been really exciting uh, to see the progress of the team as we've gone forward. So as each of you are in different stages of your transformation, uh, I would say some rules for the road. Maybe it's VJ's Hitchhiker's Guide to Adopting uh, P the Pivotal Platform. So for us, really the adoption of a microservices culture has been absolutely critical. And especially this year that has come to light as developers have gotten access to the platforms, they've been really beginning to refactor. But to, build, to really harness the power of the platform, you got to embrace microservices as part of your journey. Secondly, automation. Um, and I know, you know everyone's talked about this, but early on when we did our first app, I think a lot of the engineers were really happy in terms of, hey, I get to CF push. But if the back end in terms of the build and release automation isn't done and you're still going through a manual release process, that can be problematic. So automation as part of this journey is absolutely key. Thirdly, your alignment with DevOps. Um, so, 
you know, infrastructure teams uh, have their own minds. Uh, I, I'm, I apologize if, if I'm offending any infrastructure people in the room, um, but uh, they like to engineer things, but you, ha you have to have alignment with your DevOps uh, group in order to really understand elasticity, build in resilience on the platform, um, really you know, put together the run books for recovery, because you are at the end of the day uh, you know, protecting your client and giving them capabilities, and you want to make sure the platform's up for all of them. So that alignment with DevOps is absolutely critical. Pivotal Labs, so as I told you in our journey and our story, we utilized Pivotal Labs a great deal as part of our overall transformation. But you gotta internalize that when you really open up the storefront internally. And how do you take those best practices and make sure that they're ingrained as part of your culture? So this is as much a cultural transformation that needs to be driven from the leadership team as it is you know, just working with Pivotal Labs on, on a couple of apps. They helped us tremendously, but it needs to be part of your own DNA. Another thing that we're working on is platform as a service versus container as a service. So we need to really work as we go forward in this next phase to determine what's going to be a containerized Kubernetes app versus what's going to be part of the Pivotal platform. So we are working through that as we speak. But it's a, it's a big lesson that we've learned as part of this journey. And finally, the hardware software stack. So you know, we, we want to be in the business of engineering value for our customers and not in the business of engineering lots of widgets on the infrastructure. So really having a Pivotal-ready architecture has been a key part of our overall deployment and a part of our story. So now we offer free trading as well. So I encourage all of you to check out the premier digital investing experience. And uh, you can abandon your Robin, Robinhood accounts and come over to TD Ameritrade. Thank you very much. <laughs>